we glorify you. Receive all the honor, God. And all the glory. For you have done it, O God. Let us pray together. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this afternoon. We commit ourselves to you. God of signs and wonders, we ask you to speak to us. Use me one more time to bring glory to your name and to touch everybody who is connected to us. Even through the internet and later on YouTube we pray for your administration receive all the glory and all the honor in Jesus name we pray and believe and everybody celebrate Jesus Amen Amen, Amen. Let's appreciate our choir as we thank them this afternoon. Do it in a better way. Thank you, God. We can take our seats in the presence of the Lord. This is our month of securing our destiny. Wakulinda uh, hatima zetu. Actually, si o kulinda. Kulinda ni sawa, lakini you know, you, you get it. You, you secure. Unaipigania, una unaipata. You, you really have to fight for it. Akika ya kubidi uipigani. So that you may get it. Ili uweze kuipata. And it's good for us to know na nivyema kwetu kujua that we have a great destiny ya kwamba tunahatima ambayo ni kuu for our spiritual lives kwa maisha yetu ya kiroho our ministries mauduma yetu our families familia zetu our careers na kazi zetu even our connections hata pamoja na mahusiano yetu we need to be connected to some key people tunahitaji kuunganika na watu fulani ambao ni muhimu who can help us to ha. achieve our destiny hao wanaweza kutusaidia kupata hatima zetu and i want to do a brief teaching this afternoon na nataka kupatiana funzo fupi tu jalasiri ya leo on the seven anointings that can make you to access your destiny. Juu ya maupako saba ambaya naweza kusaidia kupata hatima yako. Niweke force kwa hiyo sauti. So the seven anointings. Kwa hivyo basi maupako saba. That can make you to access your destiny. Ambayo naweza kusaidia basi ukafika katika hatima yako. Number one. Ya kwanza the anointing of the holy ghost upako wa roho mtakatifu the anointing of the holy ghost upako wa roho mtakatifu church i know that we cannot talk about anointing kanisa najua ya kwamba hatuwezi kuongea kuhusu upako without talking about the holy spirit pasipo na kuongea kuhusu roho mtakatifu and i want to confirm to all of you na nataka kuadhibitishia nyote that the power of the Holy Spirit has been released into our lives. And into the church of Christ. John 7:37. John 7:37 says to 39. Actually, all of us need the power of the Holy Ghost. Akika sote to itaje nguvu zaron takatifu. So that we may be able to have access to our destiny. Ili tukaweze kuingia katika hatima zetu. On the last and the greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, if anyone is thirst, 
let him come to me and then drink hata siku ya mwisho siku ile kubwa ya siku kuu yesu akasimama akapasa sauti yake akisema mtu akiona kiu na aje kwangu anywe 39 38 sorry Whosoever believes in me as the scripture has said streams of living water will flow from within him Aniaminiye mimi kama vile maandiko yalivyonena mito ya maji yaliyo hai itatoka ndani yake 39 By this he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive up to that time the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified na neno hilo alile alilisema katika habari ya roho ambaye wale wa maaminio watampokea baadaye kwa maana roho alikuwa hajaja kwa sababu Yesu alikuwa hajatukuzwa for you to operate under this anointing kwako ili ukaweze kufanya kazi chini ya upako huu the anointing of the holy ghost upako wa kiroho mtakatifu you need to desire to be filled by the holy spirit unahitaji kutamani kujazwa na roho mtakatifu and when you are filled by the holy spirit na unapojazwa na roho mtakatifu then you are going to walk under this anointing basi ndivyo utakavyotembea chini ya upako huu the anointing of the holy spirit upako wa roho mtakatifu in the book of acts chapter 1 verse 8 katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume moja msari wake nane. the bible says you shall receive power biblia inasema kwamba nyinyi mtapokea nguvu the word for power there is dunamis sasa lile neno la nguvu pale ni dunamis a powerful explosion ule mlepuko ambao una nguvu when the holy spirit comes on you wakati roho mtakatifu anapokuja juu yako and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem and in judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth nani mtakuwa mashahidi wangu katika Yerusalemu na katika Uyahudi wote na Samaria na hata mwisho wa inji This anointing makes you to become a witness. Upako huu unakufanya kuwa shahidi and you witness what you have experienced. Na unashuhudia kile ambacho umekiona. So you become a witness of the miracles of God. Hivyo basi unafanyika shahidi wa miujiza ya Mungu. And in John 14:26 Na Yohane 14 mstari wa 26 The Holy Spirit is called an advocate. E Roho Mtakatifu anaitwa eh, mtetezi. Ah uh, 14:26 14:26 An But the counselor, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything i have said to you lakini huyo msaidizi huyo roho mtakatifu mbaye baba atam, uh, atampeleka kwa jina langu atawafundisha yote na kuwakumbusha yote niliyowaambia so he will teach you everything na hivyo basi atawafundisha mambo yote That is why in John first John chapter 2 verse 20. Ndio sababu Yohane wa kwanza sura ya pili mstari wa 20. The Bible says you have received an anointing. Biblia inasema kwamba umepokea upako from the Holy One. E, kutoka kwa yule mtakatifu. And because of that anointing you know all the truth. Na kwa sababu ya upako huo basi unajua kweli wote. So he is the spirit of truth. Kwa hivyo yeye ndiye roho wa ukweli. And he is going to teach you all the truth. Na yeye atakufundisha ukweli wote. And in verse 27 of the same chapter. Na mstari wa 27 sura 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 hiyo, it is says with him you need no one to teach you. Anasema kwamba ukiwa naye hauhitaji mwingine akufundishe. For this anointing teaches you about all things. Kwa sababu mafuta haya yanawafundisha mambo yote. And that anointing is real. 
na upako huo ni halisi it is not counterfeit na si wa uongo just as it has taught you remain in him na kama yalivyowafundisha kaeni ndani yake so in our first point kwa hivyo katika hoja yetu ya kwanza you need to desire to walk in this anointing unahitaji kutamani kutembea chini ya upako huu the anointing of the holy ghost upako wa roho mtakatifu that you are going to go somewhere kwamba, and you demonstrate the power of god because of this anointing ya kwamba utaenda mahali na udhihirishe nguvu zake Mungu kwa sababu ya upako huu. Kwaya you need this anointing. Kwaya mnahitaji upako huu. Amen. Amen. Pastors you need this anointing. Wachungaji mnahitaji upako huu. Women you need this anointing. Wanawake mnahitaji huu upako. Even the men in the house you need this anointing. Hata pia wanaume katika nyumba mnahitaji upako huu. It causes the youth to overcome. Unasababisha wanarika kushinda. It causes everybody to overcome. Inafanya kila mtu ashinde. The power of the Holy Spirit. Huvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Before Jesus went to heaven. Kabla Yesu kukuya mbinguni, he breathed into them. Aliwapulizia ndani yao. And he told them receive the Holy Spirit. Na akawaambia pokeeni Roho Mtakatifu. May the Lord fill you every day. Na Bwana Mungu akujaze kila siku. And may this power cause transformation. Na hizi nguvu ziweze kusababisha mabadiliko. In your life, your family, your career, your ministry, everything you do every day. Katika familia yako, jamii yako, kazi yako, katika kila kitu ambacho unaf, unachofanya kila siku. May the power teach you. Nguvu zikufundishe. May the power cancel you. E nguvu zikushauri. May the power defend you. Nguvu zikutetee. He is called an advocate. Yeye anaitwa mtetezi. He is going to fight for you. Atakupigania. Some people call me they tell me I have nobody now. Watu wengine wananiita wananiambia sasa mimi sina mmoja. I recommend you to the Holy Spirit. Nakupendekezea Roho Mtakatifu. You know when you live right the Holy Ghost is going to fight for you. Unajua unapoishi kwa njia ya sawa basi Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu atakupigania. May you continue to walk in this power always. Ukaendelee kutembea ndani ya nguvu hizi kila wakati. And may he teach you the truth. Yeye yakufundishe ukweli. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. How many have understood the first point? Wangapi wameelewa na hoja ya kwanza? The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. Mwende hivyo where you I write only in capital and the G in capital because the Holy Ghost is a person. The third one in the Trinity after the Father the son then we go to the holy ghost basi kunaye baba kunaye mwana na alafu sasa tunaenda kwa roho mtakatifu ambaye he is not a wind e si upepo he is a personality Zeye ni personality he can walk with you anaweza kutembea pamoja na wewe can way. rescue you anaweza kukuokomboa when things are tough he can come and deal with you wakati mambo ni magumu anaweza kuja kusaidia he can raise you up anaweza kukuinua may he accompany the angels who guard you akafuatane na wale malaika ambao wanakulinda i said you may he accompany the angels nikasema kwamba akaende pamoja na malaika who guard you every day wao wanakulinda kila siku receive that power in jesus name okay hizo nguvu kwa jina la yesu anointing number 2 upako wa pili is the anointing of revelation ni upako wa ufunuo the anointing of revelation upako wa ufunuo Everybody needs revelation. Kila mtu anahitaji ufunuo. Romans 13:11 to 14. Warumi 13 kuanzia mstari 11 hadi 14. The anointing for revelation. Upako wa ufunuo. And do this understanding the present time. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer than we first received verse 12 the night is nearly over the day is almost here let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the hammer of light interpret this one 
usiku ume, umeendelea sana usiku umeendelea sana mchana umekaribia basi natuyavue matendo ya giza na kuzivaa silaha za nuru when we talk about revelation tunapoongea kuhusu ufunuo we are talking of light tunaongea kuhusu nuru and it is very important for us to know what this light is na ni muhimu kwetu tujue hii nuru ndio nini the light is in the word of god nuru hipo katika neno la mungu and the light is jesus na nuru ni yesu when you have this light unapopata hii nuru the illumination of the word kule kuangaziwa kwa neno and the reception of jesus in your life na kumpokea yesu katika maisha yako you get knowledge and the revelation unapatia unapata ufunuo unapata ufahamu na ufunuo church let me tell you one thing kanisa wacheni waambie jambo moja what you are doing every day requires revelation kila unafanya kila siku kinahitaji ufunuo so that you may not be a man of mistakes hili usifanyike mtu wa makosa you know the devil brings mistakes in life unajua shetani analeta makosa katika maisha because of darkness ni kwa sababu ya giza here the writer says hapa mwandishi anasema put aside the deeds of darkness basi yaweke kando matendo ya giza and put on the armor of light na ukavae silaha za nuru how many people are willing to put on the armor of light watu wangapi wanataka kuvalia silaha za nuru then refuse every darkness in your life basi kataa kila giza katika maisha yako darkness enters revelation giza inazuia ufunuo and it is by the deeds of darkness na ni kupitia matendo ya giza that the illumination of god disappears in somebody's life kwamba kutiwa mwangaza kwa Mungu katika maisha yako kunaondoka katika maisha yako we need this revelation tunahitaji huo funuo in verse 13 the bible says sari 13 bila inasema let us behave decently wacheni basi tuenende kwa adabu Yes, adab. Mm. Fafanua no adabu ni nini? Adabu ni maadili tu vile tunakaa tuwe watu ambao wako na nidhamu. Namna gani? Ah. Fafanua no, wewe ni mwalimu wa neno. Basi kama ni kupenda watu wapende, kama ni kuchukia eh, eh, kuchukia watu tupetu tuachane nayo kusengenya watu tuache mambo kama hayo tutembee katika zile njia ambazo Mungu anapendeza nazo nazo kuwafanyia wengine mema kuwasaidia hata pia kuwaombea na kuacha dhambi yeah decency e, ile adabu decency in character kinidhamu katika maadili ama katika tabia when you have this light You have limits. Unapopata nuru hii basi uko na kiasi. I expected some amen from there. Nilihitaji amina kutoka upande ule. There are extremes you cannot go. Kuna kupita mipaka ambako unaweza kwenda. There are relationships you cannot entertain. Kuna mahusiano ambayo uwezi ukayakubali. I will say several things until you say amen. Tasema mambo kadhaa mpaka useme amina. There are conversations you cannot go into. Kuna mawasiliano ambayo uwezi kuyaingilia. There are some dressings you cannot be caught up in. Kuna aina mavazi ambayo uwezi ukapata ukajipata ndani yake. You would have said amen to that. Ukisema amina kwa hiyo. I can see the attitude but I would still say it. Naweza kuona ule mwelekeo lakini nitazidi kuisema. I said there are some dressings you cannot be found with them. Nikasema kuna aina mavazi ambayo uwezi ukapatikana nayo. The nakedness ule uchi is not decent. Esi adabu. You need to walk like as it is daytime. 
Wasaili kutembea kama ni mchana Not in ogis uh, Si katika ofisadi Si kwa ulafi wala ulevi Ya ndiyo hiyo sasa <laughs> Ufisadi ni corruption That's what I wanted The Not in ogis uh, Si ulafi you know, ogies have to do with the drinking and, uh, and uh, you know, and all these things. Now, ulafi. Ulafi pamoja na ulevi. Not in sexual immorality. Na si uasherati. Even the language of immorality. Hata yale, yale mazungumzo ya uasherati. Is not part of what we do. Si sehemu ya kile ambacho tunafanya. Immorality may not be necessarily doing it. Washerati sio sana sana ati yale ya kufanya. But anything surrounding sexual immorality. Lakini kitu chote ambacho kinazunguka hapo katika usherati. We have to deal with it. Lazima tukabiliane nayo. We are talking of purity. Tunaongea kuhusu usafi ama utakatifu. Doing the right things. Kufanya yale mambo ya haki na sawa. And I'm sure a disciplined person can limit themselves. Na nina wakika kwamba mtu mwenye nidhamu enaweza kujikuweka kiasi. And a family man remains a family man. Na mtu wa familia ya anasalia kuwa mtu wa familia. There are some things you don't expect from a family person kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo hautarajii kutoka kwa mtu wa familia even conversations hata mawasiliano even messages hata maujumbe i will say it until it sinks ah nitaisema hadi izame ingie na you am tak i know you don't want sitamaliza i am still going on i will not be through out. i can even do two anointings and i close i'm in charge of the pulpit <laughs> I'm in charge of this pulpit. Ha, mimi nime, nimeshika usukani wa madhabahu haya. I can even continue on, continue on Friday or even next month. <laughs> hata naweza kuendelea Ijumaa hata mwezi ujao. So I'm here, I'm here now. Kwa hivyo sasa niko hapa sasa. You, we must overcome temptations. Unajua ni lazima tuyashinde nguvu majaribu. You don't have to be lured into situations. You don't have to be lured into situations. Unajua hautaji kuingizwa katika hali. You can overcome them. Wewe unaweza kuyashinda. Men listen to me. Wanaume msikilize. The glory will make you to go down. Utukufu utakufanya uende chini. Hata sio utukufu, ni kama ni kiburi. Eh, kiburi aha. Glory to yourself. Ah, sifa zako mwenyewe zitakufanya uende chini. Because I'm interested in some G's, so I'm you call, I'm using glory. Hivyo basi navutiwa na ga hizo na hivyo basi navutiwa na hizo sifa. The glory self glory will make a man to go down. Sifa za mtu binafsi zitamfanya aende chini. Pride Kiburi will cause a man to fail. Kita sababisha mwanaume kuanguka. And whoever is speaking is not a woman, it is a man. Na yote ambaye anazungumza sasa si mwanamume, si mwanamke lakini mwanamume. I know what it means. Najua kile inamaanisha. The other G is gold, dhahabu. Ile ga nyingine ni dhahabu. Money. Pesa. You have heard of men who have gone to get powers to make money. Umewasikia uh, uh, umesikia habari kuhusu wanaume ambao wameenda kupata nguvu hizi ili watengeneze pesa. I am also told even some preachers go to get powers. Pia nimeambiwa baadhi ya wahubiri wengine pia wameenda kupokea nguvu. I believe none will do that under my voice. Naamini kwamba hakuna mmoja chini ya sauti yangu ambaye atafanya hivyo. We need to have godliness with contentment and we work diligently to get what we are supposed to get. Tunahitaji uungu na kutosheka na kutia bidii kwa kile ambacho tunafanya ili tuweze kupokea. 
The third G. Ile gaya tatu is the girl. Girl. Mschana. Ni mschana. The woman. Mwanamke. Are we together men? Wanaume yeah. tunaambatana pamoja. Mangela, I can see the way you are writing, looking down. You will still have to look at me. <laughs> I'm saying the girl. Nasema mwanamke ama msichana. They can cause a king to go down. Wanaweza kumfanya mfalme akaenda chini. And they are there. Na wako hapo behaving indecently to pull you down wakiwa na tabia mbaya hili wakunguze kwenda chini this morning we land instead of going down let us go up asubuhi ya leo tukafundishwa bala kwenda chini wacheni tukaende juu gaza was down there gaza ilikuwa pale chini and then man who is in bad relationships na mtu yeyote ambaye yuko katika mahusiano mabaya mwanaume mwanamume with women na wanawake is not going up aendi juu is going down yeye anaenda chini and let me assure you one thing na wacheni uhakikishie jambo moja they are going to tempt you wataenda kukujaribu is it true ni kweli Have you faced it? <laughs> you know it is not easy to be honest. It is not easy to be honest. Si rahisi kuwa mkweli, kuwa wazi. It is only me who can be honest. <laughs> He has accepted it is true. Nime But kukuna. the next step. Lakini hile hatua inayofuata. <laughs> so they are there basi wako hapo to bring you down ili wakuangushe the problem is not even sleeping with a woman hata ile shida si kulala na mwanamke but you will go down until you are nothing lakini utashuka sana mpaka uwe bure and if you want to confirm na kama unataka kudhibitisha line them at the first first row here waweke katika mstari wa kwanza hapa and they are naked na wao ni uchi the preacher will arm the third anointing e mhubiri ataweza kugonga ule upako wa tatu and start looking down here na aanze kutazama hapa chini and finally will ask na mwishowe atauliza by the way what was i talking about hakika nilikuwa naongea kuhusu dini that is how serious the matter is hivyo divyo hilo jambo la kumaanisha women listen to me wanawake nisikilizeni men we are created to see wanaume waliombwa waliumbwa kutazama they are attracted by what they see wanavutwa na kile ambacho wanaona women are we together yeah. wanawake tunaenda pamoja so they keep on seeing kwa hivyo wanaendelea kuona kutazama they cause accidents when they are, they want to see wanasababisha maajali wakitaka kuona i saw another one being slapped by the wife nilimuona mwingine akichapwa kofi na mkewe they they are walking together <laughs> wanatembea pamoja then now he sees something na basi anaona kitu then they are walking together basi wanatembea pamoja now the wife slaps him basi mke anamchapa kofi when will you be decent my husband wewe oh, utakuwa mwenye tabia lini mke wangu it is wangu. not his problem eh, si shida yake they were created to see waliumbwa kuona that is why every kind of a fashion has come in the world ndio sababu kila aina ya mtindo imekuja duniani so that even chief executives hili wale wakurugwezi hata wakuu i wish you knew what i'm talking about right ungalijua kile ambacho naongea executives hata wale wakurugwezi wakuu are going to be in temptations every day wanapitia katika majaribu kila waka, kila siku men are we going to overcome kaumbulu are we going to overcome wanaume tutaenda kushinda hey man hey man So now we deal with my dress my choice. Na hivyo basi tushughulikie hilo jambo la mavazi yangu chaguo langu. We are on decency. Tuko kwa hiyo ya adabu. Amen. Amen. What is debauchery in Kiswahili? And debauchery. Na ugomvi. 
Ndiyo hiyo. Oh, all those things, eh? Yeah, eh? Yeah. Ugomvi na wivu. You know, hebu say it again, Alfred. Ulevi, drugs, and sex. This is a great man. Huyo ni mtu mkuu. All those things vitu hivyo vyote put together they become debauchery. Ikuwa kwa pamoja vyote vinafanyika hilo neno. And not in dissension and jealousy. Na si kwa ugomvi wala wivu. We have to leave all these things. Lazima tuache vitu hivi vyote. And flow in this anointing. Na tutirike katika upako huu of revelation. Wa ufunuo. Verse 14 we clear that. Sare 14 tumalize hayo. Rather clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. Bali mvaeni Bwana Yesu Kristo. And do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. Wali wala msiangalie mwili hata kuwasha tamaa zake. Ati, aterudia tena wala eh uh, inasema wala msiangalie mwili mm -hmm. hata kuwasha tamaa zake this tells me hii inaniambia the the flesh has desires mwili unazo tamaa zake that is why jesus was tempted hiyo sababu yesu alijaribiwa he was taken to the highest part of jerusalem Akapeleko mahali pa juu sana pale Yerusalemu. The devil told him to worship me. Shetani akamwambia basi uniabudu. So that I may give you, I may give you all the wealth you see. Ili nikupatie utajiri wote mali yote ambayo unaiona. He knew that man can have desires. Alijua ya kwamba mwanamume anaweza kuwa na mtu anaweza kuwa na tamaa. But the proposal is. Lakini kule kupatiwa shauri ni kwangu. not gratify. Wewe usitimize the desires of your human nature. Tamaa za eh, maumbile yako ama mwili wako. Desires of human nature have broken covenants. Tamaa za mwili ni agano ambazo zimefunjika. One covenant is called the covenant of marriage. Agano kwanza ya kwanza ama moja inaitwa gano ya ndoa. The covenant of marriage has been broken by the desires of human nature. Agano ya ndoa imevunjwa na tamaa za uh, za uasili ama asili ya mwili. And I want to say a serious thing. Na ningependa kutamka kitu ambacho kina maana. Anybody who ma. comes to the altar to say yes I do. Mtu yeyote ambaye anakuya madhabahu ni kusema ndio nitafanya. That is a covenant. Hiyo ni agano. And a covenant that's a seal. Na Covenant as a seal. Agano inayo dhambi. A, a, uh, a seal. Oh, yani inayo seal. muhuri. Aha, inayo muhuri. Inayo muhuri. Mm -hmm. Agano ina muhuri. It is a seal. Ina muhuri. And my strongest suggestion. Na kule kwe pendekezo langu ambalo ni kuu. Is that every covenant requires to be defended. Ni kwamba kila agano ikatetewe. I know why you have a problem here. They have not cleared this voice. I know it is not being heard well. So every covenant has to be defended. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Every covenant has to be defended. And no man or woman who should have an excuse of breaking a covenant. And it starts slowly. Every covenant has two parties. And each party has a responsibility. Miriam come to the altar. Miriam Jo hapa kwenye madhabahu stand with your husband here simama hapa na mume wako Miriam you have a responsibility Miriam unayo jukumu to defend the covenant between you and Steve ya kutetea gano kati yako na mimi Steve you have a responsibility mimi nina jukumu of defending the covenant between you and Miriam. Ya kutetea gano kati yangu na Miriam. Each one has to play their part. Kila moja lazima afanye kazi yake upande wake. 
and Miriam when Steve is defending the covenant na Miriam wakati mimi natetea ile agano don't fight him usimpige vita don't say unanifuata sana usimwambie kwamba mbona unanifuata sana and you because i know men na mimi kwa sababu askofu anajua wanaume ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like he knew where i was going <laughs> I thank God for the freedom of the word of God. When she is defending the covenant. Don't fight. Don't behave like she is messing up. Like there is a private life she is interfering with. The two became one. So you need to accept what she is doing. And she accepts what you are doing. I want to go at an anoch aya. Nataka kwenda hatua ya juu. Allow her to access to access your everything, your digital content. Sasa nataka kufikia zale zile jumbe zako za upeo wa juu. Allow her sasa mimi ni mnimuruhusu to access the content. Onimuruhusu ili aone kile ambacho kiko katika simu yangu. I am told men who have no light, who have no illumination. Naambiwa wale wanaume ambao hawana mwangaza. They, they sleep with the phone in the boxer. <laughs> Wanalala wakiwa na simu zao wameweka kwenye mfuko wa boksa lest a message is forwarded from another quarter ili ujume usitumanishwe kutoka kwenye maeneo mengine when they are going to the bathroom wanapoenda katika bafu they put it on the window sill of the bathroom wanaweka katika dirisha pale kwa hiyo bafu you can be sure i have never spoken like this before Unaweza kuwa na uhakika kwamba sija sijawa hiyo na mbali. I'm being pushed. I don't know what is happening. Lakini nasukumu push to speak. Nasukumu kuongea. I don't know what I, what is happening. Sijui nini ambacho kinafanyika. So they they put it somewhere. Kwa hivyo wanaificha mahali. Lest the content is accessed by the other the other covenant person. Ili jumbe zile zizipatikane na yule mshirika mwingine wa agano. I think from today we need to announce freedom. Nafikiria kutoka leo lazima utangaze uhuru. Some are saying bishop stop that. Wengine wanasema tafadhali askofu fika. If you can know my content you can't tell me to be free with anybody. Kama ungejua jumbe zangu wezi kusema kwamba tuko huru. Yes, celebrate Jesus. Angelia Yesu. She has it there. Yuko nayo hapo and she is a woman. Na yeye ni mwanamke. A woman has a sixth sense. Mwanamke yuko na unyeti wa sita. When things are wrong they will know. Wakati mambo yako yameenda vibaya wanajua. They become sensitive. Wanapata unyeti. Kuelewa kwa ndani sana. Wanahisi hisi za ndani sana. Bishop tuko nombola. <laughs> Tungonge pole pole bishop. Askofu tuchape kiasi. I feel like continuing. Na hisi kama kuendelea and say. Na kusema <laughs> we should not gratify. Hatusaidi kutimiza the desires. Tama of our human nature. Za maumbile yetu kama wanadamu. Can two people say amen? Watu wawili waseme amina. The only issue is that whatever is done in secret will be brought to the light. Lile jambo ni kwamba chochote ambacho kinafanywa kwenye siri kitaondolewa katika nuru. So we better not do it. Hivyo basi ni afadhali tusiifanye. Maybe you don't know why I was talking like this. Labda ujui ni kwa nini nimeongea hivyo. But one destiny is about the family. Lakini hatima moja pale ni kuhusu jamii. And the family has to be defended. Na jamii ni lazima ilindwe. And the covenant has to be taken care of. Na agano lazima itunzwe. So men, 
Haivyo wanaume. Alfred tujiangalie. Let, let's take care of ourselves. Alfred tujichunge sana. You know, women you've never known. Unajua wanawake hamjawajua. I know I'm online so I don't care about anything. Unajua ni online live basi. Women you may never have known. Eh? Wanawake labda angeenda msijue. A man has some special attraction to service. Mwanamume mwanamume yuko na mvuto speciali kwa utumishi ama huduma kuhudumiwa hata ijatokezea vizuri a man mwanamume a man can be pulled to somebody who is serving them well mwanamume anaweza kuvutwa kwa mtu ambaye anamtumikia vizuri and somebody who is able to understand the need of a man and serve him well Na yule mtu ambaye anaweza kuelewa na mwanamume na anamtumikia vizuri. If it is not checked. Kama haijachungwa and if the man is not conscious about the holy the anointing of the holy ghost. Na kama huyo mtu hajakuwa chonjo kwa upako wa Roho Mtakatifu, they will start slowly to drift. Wataanza kwa upole sana kutereza and they have a tendency of comparing the service girl with the wife whom they have lived together for 20 years. Na wako na tabia ya kulinganisha utumishi ya mjakazi msichana na ya yule mwanamke ambaye wamekaa pamoja miaka mingi. It is obvious kaumbulo. Ni wazi na kweli kabisa kaumbulo. Faith has been with you. Faith amekuwa pamoja nawe. She may not run to bring you water on the table. Anaweza kosa kukimbia kule kuletea maji kwenye eh, meza. But a new person Lakini mtu mpya can easily be sent and run and put it on the table. Anaweza kutuma kwa uraisi na nakimbia sana analeta hayo maji kwenye meza. And you know it is natural. Na unajua ni hali ya maumbili. It is only that they have not lived with you. Ni vile tu hawajakaa pamoja nawe. But some men imagine Lakini wanaume wengine wanafikiria. In the process of these desires desires of human nature. Katika utaratibu hizi tamaa za kimwili. The other person is better. Yule mtu mwingine sasa ni bora because they are serving without being asked. Kwa sababu wanatumika wakiwa hawaulizi. Yet in your house you ask. Na kile kule nyumbani kwako unauliza. It is time to defend our families. Ni wakati wetu wa kutetea familia zetu because your wife cannot be a waitress. Kwa sababu mke wako hawezi akafanyika mjakazi. Yeah. Our waitress will be in uniform. Yule anayetumika pale mwajiriwa anapata kuwa na sare in a court cut well like the one of of Kaumbulu simama kwa koti ambayo imekatwa vizuri kama hii ya mchungaji so they look like students kwa hivyo wanaonekana kama wanafunzi and when they go for training they are told when you see a customer smile na katika mafundisho anaambiwa unapoona mteja basi ukatabasamu your wife cannot be smiling when they are bringing breakfast in the morning please they cannot be like a waitress mke wako hakuwezi kuwa anatabasamu anapokuletea kiamsha kinywa pale hawezi kufanyika kama waitress it is early in the morning ni asubuhi mapema they may even be dressed just normally hata wanaweza kuwa wamevalia tuki sawa but this, kawaida this girl who comes with the menu Lakini huyo msichana ambaye anakuja na ile menu ya chakula. Hello, hello, welcome. You think ha. your wife can be telling you hello? <laughs> Unaweza mwanamke mke wako anaweza kuf... <laughs> Your wife cannot do that. Mke wako hawezi kufanya hivyo. But she is still the best. Lakini ni yeye bora kabisa. The covenant girl of your youth. Yule msichana wa agano wa rika yako. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you want to confirm, kama unataka kudhibitisha, get that waitress Basi mpate hiyo waitress. Put her in your house. Umweke katika nyumba yako. Tomorrow she wakes up looking funny. Kesho anaamka akionekana wa ajabu. And when they bring breakfast. Na wanapoleta kiamsha kinywa. They are annoyed because of you. Wamekasirika kwa sababu yako. When you are not the designated person. You are not a person and she is not your person. Na huyo sio mtu wake na wewe yeye sio mtu wako. It brings bitterness. Inaleta kukasirika until you you forget the nice windbreakers you saw when she was serving you. Hadi unasahau yale mambo alikuwa anakufanyia mazuri alipokuwa anakutumikia. Man there is only one star girl. Wanaume kuna msichana mmoja wa nyota tu. The wife of your youth. Mke wa rika lako. Amen. Amen. 
I will only do two today. I will not exceed two. Neta shukuli kia mbele tu siwezi kwa kwa two things. Ema upako mawili. This one of light. Sasa hii moja ya nuru. You know it illuminates you. You begin to see hidden secrets of the devil. Unajua ina kuangazia mpaka unaanza kuona siri zingine zimefichwa sa shetani. And the problem of men because I'm a man. Na shida ya wanaume kwa sababu mimi ni mwanamume. It's only because they see. Ni kwa sababu tu wanaona. The nice smiles zile tambasa mzuri and all the other things that are connected with seeing na vile vitu vingine vyote ambavyo vinahusiana na dhambi and they fall victims na na kuona na kuona ha and they fall na, victims kuona na basi wanafanyika waadhiriwa the clothing industry as known ile industry ya mavazi inajua that if the cleverage is exposed men will see ya kwamba kama kifua kime kama kifua kimnaonekana basi wanaume wataona yeah kaumbulo i thought you are not an interpreter <laughs> kumbe you are <laughs> on this matters you are okay katika mambo haya wewe uko sawa <laughs> uh? mm. the industry knows hiyo industry inajua yeah Uh, Miriam can you behave like kujenga upande huu? Can you behave like you are washing his hands? Una mnawisha mikono. Na uiname. Inama kabisa. Now the, the, the devil knows in the clothing industry. If this was eh uh, shika sasa. <laughs> if this was you know the girl. Kama sasa huyu ndiye msichana. Out there kule nje sasa and the chest is empty na e, kifua akija afunikwa this guy will clear the jug of water still washing hands <laughs> jamaa huyu atamaliza maji yote kwenye jagi akijifanya pale ananawa mikono yeah, he is not even washing na yeye huwa anawi he is looking at the the clever engineer <laughs> anaangalia kule ile 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 nafasi hapo and i have seen those clothes displayed everywhere everywhere the ones which expose people na nimeona nguo hizo zote zimeanikwa kila mahali zile ambazo zinafunua watu taking people to the sinful nature kupeleka watu katika tamaa za mwili there is something a man can go for kuna kitu mtu mwanamume anaweza kukiendea My archbishop's wife calls it the geography of a woman if it is exposed. E, mke wa askofu wangu mkuu huwa anaita ile geografia ya mwili. Mwili wa mwanamke. Men will be there. Wanaume watakuepo. You may think they are playing drafts or even a chase. Unaweza fikiria wako na wanacheza wale mchezo wa darts. They would be doing it. Watakuwa naifanya. But they will be looking. Lakini wata wanakuwa natazama. May God help men. Mungu awasaidie wanaume. And then deliver them. Na wakomboe. Those who want to be helped can say amen. Wanaotaka kusaidiwa basi waseme amina. Miriam you can go and take your seats. Amen. Can I go further? Niweze kwenda zaidi? Anything above the knee, I'm now a serious person. Sasa mimi mtu akumaanisha chochote ambacho kwa juu ya mahitaji. Oh sorry. The knee. Oh kitu mavazi yote ambayo yako juu ya magoti. Ya magoti eh. Wewe unasikia unasemaje uh, Alfred unasema chochote. Kitu. <laughs> oh kitu chochote. I tell you I have preachers you... in the house. Ni kuna ufika above the knee kitu chochote ambacho kimeenda juu ya magoti you can finish up ni nini hiyo ni hatari hiyo sasa ni moto wa kuotea mbali yes <laughs> ah kumbe ni mimi si kufungua hii conversation <laughs> you, you know you ladies you joke with men Unajua nyinyi wanawake mnacheza na wanaume. You may see them speaking in tongues. Naweza kuona wakiongea kwa lugha. But wait until it comes. Lakini ngojea mpaka ifike. Raba la ba la busa. They they the, 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 you 
don't don't tempt, don't be in the category of the tempters usiwe katika upande wa wanaojaribu this is church sasa hili ni kanisa we are correcting few things eh tunatengeneza mambo machache by the way we don't preach about dressing hakika tuhubiri kuhusu mavazi but we are talking about decency lakini tunaongea kuhusu mwenendo mzuri brought by the anointing for revelation ba unasababishwa na upako wa ufunuo and the illumination na kutiwa mwangaza when god is in your life wakati mungu anakaa ndani ya maisha yako you are going to understand what to do wewe utaelewa vile unasaini kufanya and when you do it na ukiifanya god is going to use you to be a blessing mungu ataenda kutumia ufanyike baraka There are the five anointings. Zile yale mapako mengine matano. Will be greater than the first two. Yatakuwa makuu kuliko haya mawili. I won't tell you when I will teach them. Waambieni nikitakayowafundisha. So make sure that you are in the house. Hakisha kwamba uko katika nyumba. To be taught of this anointing. Ili ufundishwe kuhusu mapako haya. Start on stand on your two feet tell him Lord I need the Holy Ghost. Basi mama umwambie Mungu ya kwamba unahitaji roho mtakatifu. I mtakati. need this anointing. Ninahitaji upako huu. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Upako wa roho mtakatifu. I need this illumination. Ninahitaji kutiwa mwangaza. The illumination of the word of God. Kuangaziwa na neno la Mungu. Jesus you are the light of the world. Yesu ni wewe nuru ya dunia. And Lord God you are lifting us to new levels of blessings to new levels of lifting to new levels of blessings Lord this anointing for revelation let it come upon your children let it come upon your people let it come upon the church help us to see help us to experience the anointing of the Holy Ghost we desire this power the power of the Holy Ghost I release that power the power of the Holy Ghost to come upon the women to come upon the men to come upon the children save our children from the temptations of the world save our families from the temptations Temptations of the world. Help the families to be stable. Help the youth to be stable. Help the young men to be stable. Help the young children to be stable. Somebody pray for the youth. Somebody pray for the youth. Somebody remember the youth. They are not going to be taken away by the desires of this world. They are not going to be taken away by the forces of this world. Pray that they may secure their destiny. Our young people, our youth, I make a declaration. They are going to be saved. They are going to be saved. Wherever they are going to be, their destiny is going to be great. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray for the church. May the church stand. May the families be secure. Every destroyer of families. Somebody fight the destroyers of families. The families in this church. And for the people connected with us. The families are going to be stable. We secure them today. We secure the families. We secure the families. We secure the families. From every end of the devil. From every scheme of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. We secure them now. May every family be secure. May the daughters be secure. May the sons be secure. May the women be secure. May the men be secure. I make a declaration, Lord. Declaration.
generation that our families are going to be secure are going to be secure remember this country make a declaration of healing of the economy of the economy of the politics of the nation of Kenya we came to declare Kenya is safe in the hands of God we shall experience a restoration in the name of Jesus make a prayer for health we speak good health we speak long life we make a declaration nobody under my voice is going to die prematurely spirit of premature death we destroy your power in the name of Jesus we break your operation in Jesus mighty name father we thank you cancer you are undefeated and every other kill and disease it is defeated today in the name of Jesus it is defeated today in the name of Jesus and every power of the enemy every force of darkness fighting the church it is now broken in the name of Jesus somebody pray secure the church secure the backsliders Secure the backsliders. Spirit of backsliding. We bind your power. We destroy your power. We break your operation. Nobody under my voice is going to backslide. People are going to be firm. They shall stand firm. In the name of Jesus. They will stand firm. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray anybody thinking to go back we secure them for salvation we secure them for their future in the mighty name of the Lord Father we thank you and we honor you receive all the glory and all the honor thank you Jesus Asante Yesu can we do a song, a chorus? Worship chorus. every foundational issue everything coming from the foundations we stand on this altar and we break them every iniquity from the foundation every immorality from the foundation every evil desires from the foundation every darkness from the foundation every indecency from the foundation we break them today somebody fight iniquity fight iniquity we fight every iniquity whichever the wing it has come to destroy family 
families to destroy the name of the church. Ah, we fight every iniquity, every iniquity, fighting families, breaking families. We fight it now. We break it now. In the name of Jesus, every family shall stand. The youth will stand. Father, we thank you. Maybe you came today and you say, Pastor, I was a believer and I went back. Pray for me to go back to God. Show the Lord your hand, I will pray for you. A come back prayer to God. Maombi ya kurmurudia mungu. A come back prayer to God. Maombi la kumrudia mungu. Can you tell God to forgive you? Basi mulize mungu ya kusamehe. You know you are self better. Unajijua mwenyewe bora. Where you think this illumination has not worked well. Especially this anointing of light. Tell the Lord to forgive you. The things you've seen. The things you've done. The involvements you have had. Lord, forgive somebody today. And cleanse them. In Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Thank you, our online viewers. Let's connect again.